You may have heard about a little Netflix show called Dubai Bling. It's like went number three globally. I Excuse think it, me, number two globally. Was it number two? Yeah. It had more than, last time I checked, there was like 30 million hours of it watched across uh, the world. Uh, I am getting messages from Brazil, from Australia, South Africa, the UK, and everyone's saying they want to come move to Dubai now. Yes, everyone wants to come here. Which is amazing. Our next superstar guest in studio, you may have seen her on the show. Let me just play this. I've lived in Dubai since uh, 2000. 2008, I would definitely call myself a social media personality where I promote luxury brands, lifestyle. I'm a young single mom. I recently got separated. I feel that I'm hardworking, I'm reaching my goals, and I'm providing the lifestyle that I want to, you know, provide for myself and my son. I'm living the dream life. It's Aww. Farhana Bodhi! Hey guys, how's it going? In studio, thank you for uh, thank you for coming in. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to be on your show. I always wanted to be on the Chris Fade show. Oh, well. I mean, I have Chris Fade and Pretty here. What more do I want? Don't worry my about Daisy me. girl. <laughs> no, and you too. It's very nice to meet you. This is Rossi. This is Rossi. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. No, I'm, I'm a big fan. I've watched your show. You were one of my favorites, so I'm devastated that you don't even know my oh. name. <laughs> Who was, hold on, if Bahana was one of your favourites, who was one of your least favourites? Let me take a selfie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can I say that? Can I say? Yeah, go. Look, if you want to. The answer is not you, Chris. I, you can say me. I want you it to say me. No, That's it, what I want. I was opening you up for that, Rossi. He was no. going to go. He was going to say you, so no. You, what was he like on the show, by the way? Was he nice <laughs> on the show? Just to work with. I'd love to know. I mean, he was amazing. I... I, I mean, even off the show, I always used to say he inspires me. He's like one of the coolest dads around. Like he gives me like he's like father goals. Mm. Oh, that's Chris sweet. Fade is father goals, love honestly. You. Love you, love you, love you. Sweet. How nice. was thank you so much, Farhana? How was the um how was the whole thing? How was the experience for you? You know, we would have both gone into this sort of somewhat with the same feels of like Oh, wow, this is a reality show on Netflix. Yeah. Do we know what we're getting ourselves into now that you've done it? First of all, how was the experience doing it? To be honest, uh, the experience was something very different. You know, I've never had uh, an experience like this before. I I think I knew what I was kind of getting myself into. Mm. I was uh, ready for it all. Um, but I had fun on the show. I um, got to know a lot of you guys more on a different level now. Yep. And But the best part about being on the show was uh, being with Aiden on the show. I think that was the best experience ever. Well, your son just hanging out, right? Hey. Just yeah. saying with your, like, yeah, with your kid hanging out. Just yeah, sort of, it was, that, it was, was that was a cool experience. If you haven't watched the show, by the yeah. way, um, you know, members get their kids involved. If they if they felt like comfortable, they wanted to get their kids involved. Yeah. Did you want to, like with my daughters, I, you know, they, they asked, do you want to have your daughters involved? I said, yeah, I do, but I don't want them, I didn't want them in there too much, right? I wanted mm. to give them that protection of when they get a little bit older. Now that, you know, if there's a possible season two, which we're not aware of yet, but, you know, my daughters are like, oh yeah, we'd be in it more. I, I don't mind being in it more now because they're getting stopped at school. They're getting told, oh, we saw you in Dubai Bling. Does Aiden, did Aiden understand the experience of what was going on? Um, he all, all he knows right now is that he's on Dubai Bling. He keeps saying, Mommy, Dubai Bling. He, he comes on my Instagram. He's like, guys, watch me on Dubai oh, Bling. Oh, cutie. <laughs> and, he, and he's six, right? How old is he? He's six, six years, years old. Six years old. That's so cool. Aww. That's cute. Now that you've done the show, right, and you, you're, it's been a few weeks now since the show's been out, there's been so much obviously response to it, et cetera, et cetera. How is the feeling now? Do you feel like you're happy with the way everything came out for yourself? To be honest, I'm so happy. I'm loving every moment yeah. of it. I mean, uh, there's so many opportunities that have come, uh, you know, after the show as well for me, which is a really amazing. Mm. And I love it. Big question is, have you got more followers afterwards? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Rossi just wants like to know. To, Hold like, on, how many? Because I got a lot of followers, but not as much as you, Farhana. What's going on here? How come you've got so many? Well, how do I get that? <laughs> Two million. Two million? Two what did million. you start on before this show? What did this show give you? To be honest, a lot of followers and a lot of new followers. And I also got a shout out from a lot of big accounts all around the world uh, from big personalities. Uh. So I think that added also yeah, yeah is this course. your house 
With the Rolls Royce outside? <laughs> no, that's not my house. That was the staycation I had. You know, uh, I was going to say. Ross is getting... He, when, when he sees people that has a you know that bling lifestyle, Ross, he gets a bit... Hopefully I'll get tagged well, later on. <laughs> what do you want? You want 500 to tag you on an Instagram post? Well, yeah, that would be great, yeah. I'm definitely going to tag do that? you. Could you do that? I like that a lot of people like were like, I'm not going to watch this show. And then they've watched and they're like, oh, actually, I really liked it. Yeah. I don't know if you got that response, Farhana. Did you get that response? Like, people are like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch it. Then they watch it. They're like, oh, it was really good. I know, and I think they watched it like four or five times. Right. I'm, I'm guilty of that. How many that. times you watched you? How many times you watched it? Be real. Don't don't lie to me. I mean, I not the f- like the full uh, series, maybe like two times, but I keep watching our episode eight. Like it was the most emotional for me. The wedding yeah. episode. Yeah, it was yeah. So emotional. I cried so I a lot. Watching, and I loved it. That was my favorite. One of my favorites. Um, obviously, Aiden's birthday yeah. episode yeah. was my favorite what as well. What party that was! I yeah. could, I, sorry, Rusty. It was uh, a good go- party that you organized for your son. It was really nice. Good. I couldn't. Come, I was. I was supposed to come to that. And I couldn't get there. So my apologies that I wasn't I know, at your son's you birthday. Your, your son's birthday. Um, there's a lot of questions coming in. Uh, one of them is the question about it being scripted and again we've we've answered this many times but it's a question that gets asked a lot and even i get asked about it i'm not even on the show like is it scripted i'm like guys it's not but is it of course not uh i mean i get this question all the time and i'm saying this to everyone it's not scripted but i think it's a lot to do with the editing i think Mm. you agree with that as well Mm, mm, mm. but there was nothing that was scripted i mean i was myself i was like everything was real whatever happened on the show was Really, yeah. like nobody had to. I don't think anyone had to make a script. No, yeah, I was at the gym. I was at the gym yesterday, and a girl came up and she's like, "Oh my gosh, the writers of the show did such a great job." I'm like, "What do you mean the writers of the show?" She's like, "Whoever wrote the scripts." I'm like, "I think they really thought they were like, okay." Scene one. Well, they must have some like details, like your wedding in there. You're gonna go and film this. So you would just live your, you would live your life. They would ask you about what's going on in your life, yeah. And then they would just appear, and like you would plan with them. The, the the crew would come down, but you would just have your your lives and what you would do. And you know, there were some situations where they would put us together, like where we probably wouldn't have been together if we weren't doing the show. But everything, I get asked, did I really get married, or was that just a stage? Was it a staged wedding? Honestly, I've been asked yes. that so many times. Did you really get married or did you? was it just for the show you put it together? I'm like, no, I really paid for the wedding. Uh, we, really, <laughs> we really got married. i am got a wedding ring on still now. Right? Yeah. We have a few questions coming in. Um, Faiza, is it? Yes. How you, do- how you doing? You're on with Farhana Bodhi. What do you want to say? Hi, Farhana. Hi, Chris. Uh, I just want to say, first of all, I really enjoyed the Vibe Bling. I binge watched it literally in one day. Loved it. Um, so I have this question for Farhana because I am someone who full time uh, who works full time in luxury PR. Um, how do you handle a work life balance? Being a social media personality, on top of that, being a mom, how do you handle that? Hi, Faiza. Thank you. Um, so basically, I always believe in having a balance in life. Uh, my work is really important, but obviously motherhood is as important for me. And there's nothing more important than Aiden in my life. So I do try to uh, juggle my uh, work uh, and uh, motherhood. But mostly what I do is I try to work from home. Like the days when I don't have meetings or I'm not traveling, I try to work from home. So I spend more time with Aiden. On the weekends, I try not to take any work just so that I could take him out and spend some family Mm -hmm. time but also you know um, my husband and I got divorced like a few months ago my ex-husband then I'm an ex-husband. You gotta get used to that. You used to say an ex-husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we have a balance. So like, there's times when Aiden spends weekends with him. There's good. times when Aiden spends weekends with me. So we do have a good balance, and I think in, uh, Aiden has the best of both of us, that's and healthy. it's working perfectly. That's fine healthy for that you and your ex are doing. That's very important to do so. Yeah, I mean, we co-parenting, and good. for us, it's not about us anymore. It's about Aiden. So yeah, smart, so sweet. Thank you, Faiza. Thank you so much, uh, Joeria. Is it Joeria? Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hi, everyone. Hi. hi. What do you want to say to Farhana? Uh, hi, Farhana. First of all, I love your appearance on the show. Your dress is very oh, wow. Mm. Um, the question that I have for you is: you're from the influencer community, right? I'm a little bit of food blogger myself. I want to know how your peers took the criticism that was shown on the show, like even down to you know promoting pillows. It was such like highlighted that oh my god, she's you know uh, yeah, promoting everything. How did your influencer peers took it? Because it is like, this is how you make your money. So this should not be 
this should be out of question. So if you haven't watched the show, there's a there's a few scenes where uh, some of the cast are like going, oh gosh, Farhana's such an influencer. Everything is sponsored. Everything is tagged. Yes, yes, yes. Um, how did you take that? And did your community get behind you and say, this is what we do. This is okay. I mean, all the influencers were rooting for me. They're like, this is our work. I mean, this is our life, yeah, you mm-hmm. know? Okay, uh, so basically about the pillows, First of all, they were not normal pillows. They were custom made for my birthday. <laughs> How could I not grab those pillows? <laughs> well, I, so you, yeah, these pillows were delivered on you and you basically, you know, told the world that these are these pillows and da-da-da. I guess one of the things that, I guess, Juaria, is if you are living in the year 2022 and don't think that influencers is a profession now, yeah, true. you are still stuck in the early 2000s. It's It's... It's a legitimate business. Love it or hate it. Like, love it or hate it, it is a job now. Mm. And people, like we have with Farhana, make a living out of it. And people get jealous, Farhana, right? People get jealous that you can go on a private jet or promote a a, a dress or promote a hat, whatever it is, and be paid for that. Because why would you want to be working in in a coffee shop or doing what you got to do when you can make the same money doing what you're doing. People do get jealous of that. So how do you handle that if people are throwing shade at you? All I'm going to say is jealousy makes you nasty. Jealousy makes you nasty. <laughs> From the show. Yeah. That was my one line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So with, with any with anything of the, I guess, the, the politics or the, the drama that happened within the show with some of the other cast members, how was that? Have you, have you been okay with that? And there's some drama, from what I understand, still going on a little bit after the show. Again, people asking if it's scripted. Uh, there's still drama going on after Is the there? show, from what I've, what, I've, what I've been told and seen and, you know, been seeing around. How has it been for you? Are you are you still talking to all the cast members? Is everything okay? To be honest, um, I made it very clear on the show as well that I don't really want to entertain drama in my life. You know, I'm so done with drama. And I'm good with everyone because at the end of the day, I'm a very forgiving person. Like, And um, I think at, at this moment in my life, I think I'm good with everyone. I don't have an issue with anyone. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm well, cool. let, how about you and I? Let's just have a fight right now. What do you want to fight about? I don't know. What do you want to fight about, Farhana? Let's, let's have pillows. some drama. Pillows. How dare you do those pillows, Farhana? <laughs> Honestly, you influencer, you. Is there, is there anything that annoyed you about Chris on the show, though? <laughs> like, did anything, did you, anything he do, did you think, oh, that was a bit... Oh. Well, yeah, he didn't come to my birthday that was sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have to tag everyone, you see. Um, no, you don't need to tag anyone. Only I had to tag. Well, keep doing what you're doing. Um, Would you do a season two? If there is one. 100%. Yeah, you're yeah, on. You everyone on wants me on season two. All my fans are like, you listen. Can't, we don't need- say that. I don't like, don't we? I, everybody wants me, all my fans. We No. No. <laughs> well, we need to do a season no, two. Yes, to- but you want to go on it, okay? She, she's well, got sure. two million followers. She can do what she likes. I know, but I'm... I'm I, I, I'm just like like we have the big celebs. The Rock has been the will. The will's been like, ah, oh, my fans want me. No, the Rock <laughs> wants to be on it. Yeah. Okay, Farhana wants to be yes. on. Yes. Farhana wants to be on. Farhana it. wants to be on, and that's the and most. And my fans want me to be on. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Well done. And uh, if there is a season two, uh, let's see if inshallah you're there and inshallah see how we go. All right. Farhana Bodhi, ladies and Yay. gentlemen. Go give her a little follow on Instagram. She only got that two million. I still don't under I, I, I mean I grew, but not the Farhana growth, honestly. I gotta go. get some tips here. The Chris Fate Show on Virgin Radio.